what is up welcome back to another video and if you're new here please consider subscribing to the channel guys and smash the like button of course helps out the channel a lot but anyway let's get into today's video working on the speed three and can you guess what it is of course it's going to be painting this front lip black as you can see it's still like that abs plastic that it usually comes in when you first buy a lip or whatever the polyurethane so we're gonna go ahead and finally paint this black as you can see it's like all scuffed up and really trashy so i'm gonna try maybe sanding it a little bit or i'll just like completely just spray it black and call it a day but yeah i'm not looking for anything too crazy also we got some new spark plugs for the speed three of course some way better ones nice and cooler too and this should help but not only that guys i actually bought a whole case of new like self tappers just for this lip and just in case for like future installs like for the front lip of the del sol we got like a whole bunch from you know small ones to medium ones to big ones literally ones for every size so it works out perfectly not only that but we also got new clips for the speed 3 and del sol so we have like all different brands here you know you got honda acura and stuff like that you got you know ford and stuff like that and you just have all these brand new clips so i highly recommend like getting these stuff they're on amazon they're like you know a few couple bucks so you know it's worth getting and you get the whole stuff to, you know peel them and all that stuff clips that's in the speed three are terrible so we definitely need new clips put in so that's why i even bought this thing in the first place another thing we are going to do in this video as well is this we're going to paint these windshield wipers black it's the small things like this that make a big difference. You can see these ones are all patchy and stuff like that. So we're definitely gonna go ahead, sand these down and paint them black. I'm gonna remove them off the car, of course, but it's gonna look just that much cleaner on the car overall. And maybe I'll do the speed of threes ones too. Also, I can't stress this enough. Make sure you guys have a mask or something when you're painting because you don't wanna breathe that stuff in, even when sanding too. So be sure to always have some type of face mask or something you know protect your nose man protect your breathing i'm gonna set you guys down right here so that i can go ahead and remove this front bumper probably easier to remove it and then paint it um so yeah we're gonna do that first actually so let me just take this bumper off the car look at this here's the old one that's on the speed now here's the new one out of that kit that i bought so much better and actually works properly so i'm telling you guys get these clip things man they come in clutch okay so masked up pretty much most of the lip i know guys i could just take it off and paint it i know but this is a annoying lip to put on so i am not taking it off so since the front lip of the speed 3 isn't really like scuffed up or like really badly damaged or anything like that it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and use 400 grit sandpaper and then i'm gonna end it off with 1500 grit sandpaper and that's what we'll go ahead and just apply the paint or the primer but i don't think it really needs um primer on it so i'm just gonna put it on paint it's gonna get scuffed up and scraped anyway that's the whole point of a lip so we're gonna go ahead and use the 400 first and then continue with the 1500 and we're gonna go ahead and apply the paint so let's get to sanding now so up next we're gonna use the acetone just to wipe it down make sure it's all clean and by the way if you are going to use acetone please be sure to try to make sure to avoid this spilling on your hands or if anything if it does go wash your hands asap but yeah let's continue coat one done so far uh, nothing crazy, just a super light coat, but as we keep going and doing more coats, um, it'll get more richer. So check it out. We've got it all painted. I did five coats in total. I just didn't film all of it, obviously, because it's very repetitive. So yeah, as we're waiting for that front lip to finish, I'm going to go ahead, take these off, and I'm going to go ahead and just sand these and paint these exactly same times. So I can just knock them both out because 
we are running out of daylight fast. Oh yeah, guys, look at that. That looks way better. I cannot wait to put this on docile. There we go, that clear coat is on there. So now it's just the wait. I think like about 20, 30 minutes. Check this out. Painted it all black, except for the actual wiper thingy, but you know, the actual wipers themselves. Let's throw these on. goodness look at that guys it's such a tiny little restoration but really throws together the car just that much better let's throw this thing back onto the speed What do we think? Definitely looks a lot better. I mean, you can rarely, rarely tell the difference, but it's a lot more glossier, so I'm happy with it. All right, guys, so we're gonna have to pick this video up the following day because we have ran out of daylight and it's getting dark really fast. So I'll see you guys the next day to continue this video. It's like a week later from that last clip. Uh, I know I said <laughs> the next day, but it turned into a week, but whatever, here we are. So we're here with the Del Sol and we're gonna get down to stuff. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna take this front bumper off, obviously, so that I can actually install something that every old 90s Honda should have. So I'm pretty sure I don't have to explain what this is, but for the people who don't know, this is the McLifter kit. From, of course, McLifter Kit. I'll put their Instagram thing right here somewhere on the screen. But yeah, they make these new little like tappers or whatever you want to call them to like screw into the bumper. Now, if you guys can see right here, we have this like weird little gap right here or just like some sag. And I'm sure every old Honda like has this bumper sag in some way, shape or form. Like this is supposed to be like tucked up and stuff like that, which is what this does. And this actually has two holes instead of the regular Del Sol one that just has one right here and, and here only and then nothing there. So when you do put in the bumper, you're gonna obviously drill this onto uh, the bumper here and then it's gonna go like that. It's gonna tuck in here and then obviously these are gonna be what you use to bolt up into the fenders and then makes it fit way better. They also make some for the rear too. So if you have any rear bumper sag, they also make a kit for that too to solve all of that but the rear is not really sagging for me so i only got the fronts i stop the talking and get this front bumper off so we can also put on this bash bar or crash bar at the front too totally forgot that i had this thing like laying sitting down in the garage so i'm gonna go ahead and put it on and that should also help with this little gap at the front under the headlights too and i'll also lift this up more as well and it should help overall the whole front bumper like be a little bit better in fitment actually you know what guys before i go ahead and put the crash bar on i'm actually gonna go ahead and paint this black because when you have the front bumper on you can see this blue kind of through the grill and it just doesn't look good so i'm just gonna like paint from right here to like down here black so that it'll look a lot better all right guys so check it out i went ahead and painted this front piece black it just looks a lot better like I said, I wasn't trying to make it perfect. I just wanted to make it nice and black so that when the front bumper is on, you're not seeing that darker blue, like what you've seen up here, down here through the grill. So I painted it black so that when the front bumper is on, it'll blend in with the background. It won't pop as much through the grill as it did with the blue. 
Didn't paint the horns because those are easily like changeable. Bolt, bolt, and then replace and replace. So that's not a huge concern to me. But this main piece here is definitely the part that I just wanted black. So it just makes it look overall better. And then just looking at that from a distance. See, it just looks 10 times better than how it was when it was blue. So now the next thing I can do is go ahead and throw this crash bar on. I've been dying to actually put this on. You might get like a bash bar instead. So that we get rid of this like thick piece right here and just have like a nice like rebar right out of the front instead. But for now, this will do the trick. Now it's time to install these um, bumper supports onto the Del Sol's front bumper. And we're gonna see exactly how it's gonna turn out. So it also comes with a little instruction sheet right here. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? You take this and you drill these into the bumper, these little screws here, then you screw these into the bumper and then these stuff go from the bumper into the fender, which gives you that nice flush bumper fitment, so. All right, guys, pretty much got it installed now in the Mac lifter kit. Uh, pretty easy, just put this metal part on top, obviously line up the holes, slide this back under the bumper, screw them down, and you're good to go. Damn guys, look at this fitment already. Like I didn't even bolt it down yet. You can already see the fitment is way better. Definitely 100% guys. Grab yourself one of those Mac lifter kits if you do have a 90s Honda. Makes a world of a difference. But anyway, overall I am super happy with the turnout. Came out really well, like I said, like this fitment looks real good. Um, but man, we need to do something about this intake but anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here if you guys are super pumped and happy with the little progress that we're making with the del sol please be sure to smash that like button hit that subscribe button guys we got a lot of stuff coming for this car this is only the beginning i probably won't fit everything into this year honestly it might go into next year over the winter and stuff like that so we definitely got a lot of stuff to do to this car so if you guys are cool with that and excited and pumped like i said like up these videos subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next one i am so pumped for this peace out stay humble stay blessed peace